In the equity quadrant, taking a look at the March NASDAQ futures, which was the weakest index of the big four stock indices in the US all session. Of course, we're talking about the Russell, the S&P, the Dow and the NASDAQ. And as we approach the close today, the NASDAQ is still down over a half of 1%. It's working on its second down day in the last four sessions and its third lower high since making a new record high close on February 23rd. On a weekly basis, the NASDAQ is working on its second week lower in the last four, but it's only down about four tenths of 1%. Obviously, if the NASDAQ were to rally, it's likely to be a large rally because that's what the NASDAQ has been doing lately, making new highs. Also, we made a new high, so that's a new bull market. And that generally isn't a one and done situation after we've had a couple in a row in a new bull market. On top of that, 18,019.75 was a gap lower of 11 basis points. That was today high on the low side of things so far, 17,876. That was down nine tenths of 1%. Most of the pressure we got was after the GDP number this morning, which was revised lower. This is the second revision of the fourth quarter GDP. And the price index though, was higher than expected. And that's where a lot of the stress came from. The price index quarter over quarter came out at plus 1.7%. It was expected at plus 1.5%, but it was a lot lower than last month's at plus 3.3% but it is about the actual results versus expectations, not the actual results versus last month. So still we had a quarter over quarter price index a little bit hotter than expected. We get PCE price data out tomorrow. Also, not that it matters completely for the NASDAQ because there's a lot of other stocks in this NASDAQ 100 futures, but Apple dropped their electric car bid and this, the stock fall, fell for the third session in the last five. Since Apple's new record high closed on December 11th, it's now down over eight and a half percent. So all of that contributing to some downward pressure in the NASDAQ today.